What up loves? Can you believe it is almost Mother's Day? So on Facebook recently I saw a picture of a cupcake bouquet and I was like that might be the perfect thing to bring to Mother's Day brunch. You know me, always up for a creative challenge so I thought why not I show you how I created my own version. So here's what you need. Toothpicks, cake mix, frosting, food coloring, cupcake holders, piping bags and decorating tips, a planning pot, and a foam ball. I'm starting off by mixing all my ingredients together for my cupcakes. You can make them from scratch, but why make your life more complicated? Mine calls for a cup of water, a half a cup of oil, and three eggs. Once I have that all together, I'm just going to mix it away. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I'm just going to sit this to the side and get my cupcake tin and fill that up and then fill those up with cupcake batter. Now I'm just gonna pop that in the oven, but while we wait, how about we play a little game? So this has literally been my latest obsession, Best Fiends. They're doing something really dope this Sunday. In appreciation for mothers around the world, Best Fiends is providing a special gift to players on Mother's Day, so be sure to play the game on May 8th and receive your gift. You can download it for free from the Apple Store or Google Play. I will leave the link down below. I've honestly been stuck on level 34 for the past three days. Can you get on my level? But yes, download it and let me know what level you've gotten to. Okay, back to our bouquet. I like to be able to dictate what color I am using for my frosting. So I got white frosting and added food coloring. Clearly the more you add, the darker or lighter it will be. But if you feel more comfortable just buying colored frosting, you can totally do that too. Now I'm just gonna grab my flower pot and my half ball and hot glue it into the pot. You can get a full ball as well, but I just got this one from the flower section at Walmart. And this is what it will look like. Okay, our cupcakes are finally done and 100% cool. And now I'm just gonna grab two to three toothpicks and inserting them into the back of the cupcake. And then I'm just going to attach it to my foam ball. And then I'm just going to continue to repeat that all the way around. So I did one row and then my second row, I stacked it on top and so on and so forth. Some of my cupcakes needed three instead of two toothpicks. Use your own judgment. Clearly you don't want your cupcakes falling off your little masterpiece. Also, I would suggest baking them for the longer amount of time. They'll be easier to work with. Now onto the fun part, so they say. No, I am not a professional. I have never done this before. This is not Cupcake Wars. I watch YouTube videos just like you do. So all that I will tell you about this is I just filled my frosting in the bag and I picked a tip that I thought hopefully would work but I will leave the video down below that attempted to teach me how to do this yes some of them look kind of janky but what mother doesn't love a good old homemade sometimes falling apart gift from their kid <laughs> I clearly used a different tip for my pink frosting I will li leave both tip numbers that I use down below some advice I can give you is throw your frosting in the freezer for a little while your body temperature will start to melt it but that's pretty much it I mean I think that it turned out pretty well you know like always there's a little few struggle sections but I think it's a fun thing that you can definitely use as a centerpiece either for maybe brunch or dinner. Let me know down below what you guys are doing for your mothers this Mother's Day. Thank you so much to Best Fiends for sponsoring this video. The rest of you, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so before you head out. Happy Mother's Day to all you moms out there. You guys are so very much appreciated. Like always, I will see you guys in my next video and I love you guys so much.